David Mutinda. Um, I am the HTS lead, technical lead in AMPA, supporting 10 counties. Um, I'm happy to be in Trokana at a time like now. Um, I've been here for some time supporting uh, community AL screening where we are doing a lot of work in terms of reaching people with services including HIV testing services. I'm also happy to have been joined this week by the, the entire team of county states of SAS from different counties. I am happy that they came to support this county. Trokana is a unique county. Comparing Trokana and the other counties is quite a big difference and it's unique in its own uh, settings. And they are coming, the coming of the county states of SAS was just timely to come and support the team on the ground, to come and support the councillors on the ground, to come and work with them together. And therefore, this was very important for us. I'm happy that the team, the team has done a lot of work. For the period that we've been here since Monday up to today, they've really worked with the team. They've really been, uh, they've given us feedback on what, what we've been able to do. And as a lead, I'm very happy and I'm very appreciative that we've been able to work with the councillors. We've seen some action points that have been picked for the, for the team to follow. I think the most key important thing now is we can be able to say, we can be able to tell where we are in terms of all the clusters, the four clusters. The facilities that were picked, there were high volume facilities. And we are believing that the action points that have been left is something that the SCAS course, we are happy about uh, that they were in the team that was doing this one. The SCAS course and the program of SAS will be able to pick it up and actually have this one, uh, maybe the action points implemented and we expect to see a lot of change in, in the near future. <clears throat> so that support was really important and really want to thank uh, Ambath leadership through the Chief of Party and also the Deputy Chief of Party and the leadership for allowing the county team, the county state team to come and come here for a week, leaving the other counties and they came and supported the team. What we're getting here is, um, of course, this county being very unique and very diverse, um, it is clear that uh, one person might not be able to run it 100% look at the distances like what the team have said the distances are so huge such that one person cannot run around and be able to deliver within the shortest time and the expected timelines and therefore the coming of this team the team was able to do a lot of things within a very short time and the expectation is we are going to follow that and ensure that things are implemented implemented going forward the other thing that i'm picking as a lead is that there is need for more support in the clusters and part of that might mean the program investing in the county, investing more in this county. Uh, let's say, for example, getting maybe supervisors in the clusters to be able to work with the team in, in the clusters and, and be able to follow the actual points. I think that will be important for us. For Sokana County, one of the key things that we are seeing with the, with the feedback and of course what we already know in terms of distance, getting to facilities and we are health seeking behaviors and the rest, one, of, one thing is clear that we need to reach people where they are. And that is why I've been here uh, for like a month now, trying to get, can we be able to reach people where they are down there and give them the services? And it is clear that is the way to go. We want to be able to balance between the community HIV, uh, HIV provision and the facility HIV provision. And we are foreseeing very near future as we start and as we, we are piloting this, we are seeing a lot of improvement. The expectation is for this county, that uh, we'll be able to reach more people in the community, offer them service. The ones that are testing positive, retain them in cave-in in their households, deliver medication for them, and have them continue con uh, continue uh, getting medication, just for continuity and ensure that we, have, we break the chain of infection in this county, and increase the ART coverage from the current 34 to possibly 60% and 80% within the shortest time possible. And I know this is doable. We are looking forward to ensuring that even the, as the county team, the, the county states team B, uh, the action points are implemented and we can come back and look at it and say, this is what we've been able to achieve. And I think that is that is very key for us. We, it, it, Trukana County needs more resources, that is for sure, and needs more, more, more investment. And within a short time, with the investment, the money is there and the funds are there, and now we'll be able to achieve what is what is ahead of us. We are piloting several things, looking at different approaches, and we'll be able to identify which one uh, exactly works for Trukana, so that can be able to follow it through and implement and sustain people in care. Thank you.